You know what parents do? They do James chapter 2. That's what they do with their kids. They, they want to raise a kid, they want to raise a child with Christian standards in their life, a child that's not going to do what every other kid's going to do. They want to raise a child that's, that's free from, you know, just that looks different, that speaks different, that, that acts different, you know, doesn't just go into fornication and drugs and alcohol like all these other kids, like what's becoming normal today. They want to raise children that are different. And then that child gets harassed and bullied. And they say, yeah, but you know, the reason the bully does that is because they envy you. Oh, thanks, Dad. Thanks for the help. Look at James chapter 2 and verse 15. You know what that parent is? That parent is this parent right here, is this person right here. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of them say to him, depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. That's what you're doing to your kids. You send your kids into a lion's den every single day for eight hours a day that just breaks down their Christian life, and they come home as they're being beaten down, and they tell you what's happening. And you're just like, oh, you know, be warmed. They're envious. They just want to be like you. And you send them right back in the next day. What is wrong with parents today? They're not reading the Bible. Look, that is, look, you, this is the, this is the, it, people will say, if you actually do something to protect your children, people will say, you're like a helicopter parent. By the way, anybody that ever says that to you is a wicked person. Or at least, they're trying to, they're trying to do something wicked to you. They're telling you, because you know what you're trying to do, you're trying to protect your children. You know what, I'm not a helicopter parent, I'm a bulldozer parent. That's what I am. Anybody, I'm training my kids to wear a coat. I'm training them to have standards in their Christian lives, and I'm like a bulldozer. Anybody that gets in front of me or in front of those goals, I will drive over you, and I will not even think about it twice. That's the way you need to feel about that. You need to get up in the bulldozer. You need to drive those people over with your bulldozer. That's what you need to do. You say, oh, I'm a bulldozer parent. I'm going to bulldozer you if you keep bringing this stuff up to me or my kids, period.